people. It's Mo Green. I'll give a quick shout out to uh, Fiona B and the Bloom Effect. And Michelle from Audible Treats. This was for you, babe. All right. What's the biggest highlight in your career so far? I'll probably have to say being in XXL Magazine. Considering I've bought one every single month since I was in elementary school. It's kind of dope being in the magazine, you know what I'm saying, right there. In the same magazine as Cat Stacks. Like, it's Cat Stacks, you know what I'm saying? Like, people work their whole lives to be mentioned the same name as Cat Stacks. So, in the same magazine as Cat Stacks. DJ Ill Will's in there too, shout out DJ Ill Will. But it's like Cat Stacks. In there. Like, it's Cat Stacks. What's my favorite word? Gwinnin'. Gwinnin um, came from DJ Self from New York. I listened to French Montana's mixtape, Mac and Cheese 2. And he has a skit where he just says, Gwinnin', Gwinnin', Gwinnin'. And, you know, Gwinnin' is just a, a nice word to say because it kind of gets some people nervous a little bit. Like, what is Gwinnin'? Like, it's just Gwinnin'. Like, it's Gwinnin', but it's just, it's not winning though. It's like another level of winning. It's Gwinnin'. Let's get it Gwinnin', little mama. Let's get it Gwinnin'. You know we turn the party up when we get up in it. So, shout out to DJ Self. Hopefully, we can do something one day for this plug. How spicy do I like my food? As spicy as I like my women. Very. Next question. If I could tour with anyone who passed away, who would it be and why? I'm gonna just say Michael Jackson because it's Michael Jackson. Like, who would want to tour with Michael Jackson? You know what I'm saying? Probably no, there's no drugs and stuff going on. It'd probably be loose women, but he's not messing with the loose women, so of course it just goes to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of OGs. If you know me, you know how I feel about OGs. If I could go back in time or forward in the time machine, what era and who would I be conversing with? I would probably go back to the 70s and talk to Pam Greer. Because it's Pam Greer. You know, if you could go back in time, you could just do whatever you want to do and come back. So I probably wouldn't get in trouble for talking to Pam Greer back then because it's like, hey, baby, you weren't even born yet. You know what I'm saying? That's before you was even thought of. You know what I'm talking about? So Pam Greer, shout out to Pam Greer. If I go forward, I would talk to, I would skip a few years up and talk to Miley Cyrus. And we would definitely be Gwinnin'. Let's get it Gwinnin', little mama, let's get it Gwinnin'. You know we turn the party up when we get up in it. Any last words or advice for any aspiring artists want to be in my shoes? You don't want to be here, man. You want to be in my shoes. You want to be better than me. But you can't. Nah, keep it real. Um, be good and don't be bad. And if you say, oh man, I'm getting a lot of hate all the time. I must be doing something good. Well, if all you're getting is hate, you're probably just weak. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of people nowadays be like, hate is the new love. Hate is the new love. That's not the new love. Hate is just the same old hate. So, use the motivation to get better. Because, you know, if everybody likes like what you're doing, you're not doing everything right, bro. My life was documented in a movie. What would it be called? Gwinnin' streak. Let's get it Gwinnin', little mama. Let's get it Gwinnin'. Rocky my V out now. To whom we make concern. Coming out later. Sex tape scandal coming out soon. And shout out to Ray J, King R&B. That's about it.